right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be a fresh unboxing of the all-new Reedy Sonic 540 M3 motor. Now, of course, this is Reedy's brand new uh, Mach 3 or M3 version of their motor that has made them pretty famous in the past years. So this is a uh, competition brushless censored motor, 540 sized in shape, so pretty much intended for one-tenth scale vehicles. Now I do have this slotted to go in my brand new Team Associated SC5M. Now in this video we're going to take this thing out of the box, show you what it looks like, and then I also happen to have a Mach 2 on hand so we can check out that and kind of compare the two as far as the physical characteristics of it. So that'll be a little bit later on in this video. So really quick, uh, you know, the Mach 3, uh, really nice that they're coming out with this um, uh, with the SC5M. It's kind of they unveiled both of them very close to each other. So really nice to, to run a brand new motor in my SC5M. So uh, this motor is um, pretty much going to be very similar in looks to the Mach 2, uh, but very different uh, with that. So first of all, this one's going to have a little bit different as far as the external, and it's definitely going to be more uh, power friendly. So it's going to be a little bit more efficient, uh, get you right on the edge of any type of uh, stock uh, limitation. So um, right here, I did pick up the 17.5 um, 2S spec uh, motor. This is, um, they have uh, several different versions of this. They have a 1S spec, um, they also have a 2S spec, and then of course they have a whole list of modified motors, and I'll go over that here shortly as well. So, but that is the 17.5 spec, quick model number, I believe it's number 254, and that is pretty cool. So on the other side over here, we do have a CNC'd three-piece light and lightweight can design. So definitely different from the Mach 2. The Mach 2 used a one-piece, I believe. So uh, aluminum end cap, low resistance, silver plated solder tabs, which is new as well. Really excited to show you that because that is gonna make soldering so easy. Optimized air cooling. They did make the air intakes a little bit bigger and I'll show you the difference on that too. Dual precision ball bearing, balanced rotor, high strength magnet, adjustable timing, just like the Mach 2. Uh, completely rebuildable, so you can rebuild this thing uh, back up to factory spec. You do have a competition proven, of course, all sorts of guys using these motors. And then, of course, uh, it meets all the legal specifications of the different uh, sanctioning bodies. So, But let's uh, cut this thing open. Let's take a look at what we get inside the box. So once again, I did choose a 17.5. I do want to run my SE5M as a stock um, uh, vehicle. Uh, real quick here, we do get a little owner's manual here, brushless competition motor, has uh, some suggested gearing and timing and whatnot in here, um, looks like uh, all the different uh, types of motors that they do offer, nice little list right there actually, there's the two 1S um, spec motors, four of the 2S uh, spec from 10.5, up to 25.5, actually five of them, and then a whole long list of modified motors um, starting at 3.5 all the way up to 9.5 and mostly half turn increments. So 3.5, 4, 4.55, and then the only one they do skip is a 9.0. So there's no 9.0, there's no 10.0. So anyways, pretty much half uh, turn increments. Pretty cool. So inside here, of course, we do have the motor. Let's get that out of the box. And we do get a sensor wire, which is pretty cool that they're including that. Looks to be about eight inches in length, and it's a pretty cool one. It has that kind of ribbon tape uh, look to it. Um, you know, if you want to shrink wrap that down, I'm sure you can, but it's nice to kind of just fold this up if you don't need that length, kind of zip tie it off and plug in tier two items. So pretty cool. And here's a look at that motor. Wow, look at that thing. That thing looks cool just in my hands here. Huge air ducts right there to uh, cool this thing off. I mean, really got to see how large those things are. You can really see the internals of the actual motor in there. Very, very nice. On to the flip side here, Reedy Powered Sonic 540 M3. Very nice. Backside here, we're going to get our timing now up on the top of the motor. Remember in the Mach 2, they had actually had on the side your sensor plug. You got all blacked out hardware, which is really nice. A little bit different from the Mach 2 as well. And there's those soldering tabs. And if you can kind of see, there's like a little dimple inside there. And that's a really nice little pool for your solder, 
which is really nice. These are silver plated um, solder tabs now. They're a little bit more beefy than the stock M2 or Mach 2. So uh, very nice to solder onto. It just makes everything a lot easier. So let's go ahead and uh, pull out the Mach 2 so we can kind of compare those two side by side. Now this is a 6.5 turn. I have this slotted for a different vehicle here. And we'll show that one on the bottom. That is going to be the uh, Mach 2 on the bottom. And there is the M3 on the top there. So as far as the looks of it, very, very similar. You have a little cutout here, but you can kind of see they've kind of increased the larger cutouts in the back. And they kind of go, there's four of them right there where this one has like the two side cutouts, little blow holes, and then the two bottom ones. You kind of see here on the back side, you do get the uh, the same sensor plug, which they've actually reversed it. You got the pins on the bottom on the Mach 3 up here, the M3, and the pins on the top on this one. Got all blacked out hardware on the top version there. We do have the silver ones in here, so just little differences. Timing's now on the bottom here, which really doesn't make a difference because you're just turning the end bell. It's just that's where they happen to have marked uh, where the timing increments were. So here's a good look at those two uh, solder tabs. Kind of see how the M2 or Mach 2 has just flat um, kind of uh, pressed steel ones, it looks like, where these are the... Uh, silver plated and they have kind of like a little contour to it. So very very nice now for the money shot So let's take a look at this. So at first glance, it doesn't look too different But um, you can definitely see that these um, Openings are just a little bit bigger and I'm trying to get really close to the camera there And you can definitely see that so a little bit more internal uh, look inside where the bearings ride right there than the uh, the Mach 2 on the left so um, very nice. So hopefully we'll see a, a good uh, performance and enhancement here on the M3. I can't wait to get this thing uh, put into my SE5M, get that thing bolted in, and take it for a run. So, well, guys, that's going to be it for my unboxing here of the all-new M3 from Reedy. Can't wait to get this bolted in, take it for a run. And comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.